in 1964, Japan introduced the world to the concept of dedicated high-speed rail with the new Tokaido Line. This was a passenger-only railroad built to allow express trains to run at what was at the time considered to be very high speeds. Though the line has since been upgraded to run at 177 miles per hour, the initial top speed of the line was only 130 miles per hour, which was not significantly faster than what American trains had offered passengers decades earlier. Top speed was not even the primary concern for the Japanese either, since the line was designed primarily for added capacity, as the old narrow-gauge Tokaido line had been overloaded for years with both passengers and a surge in post-war freight traffic. As was common for a new technology in the 1960s, the new bullet trains became amazing marketing and propaganda tools for the Japanese government, and therefore sparked a technology race among several other countries. In the United States, the High-Speed Ground Transportation Act was passed in 1965, which set up funding for the development of a high-speed train to run between New York City and Washington, D.C., while there are several lines connecting these two cities, the most direct route was owned and operated by the Pennsylvania Railroad, or the same company that had built the T1 and S1 high-speed steam locomotives. Between New York City and Washington, D.C., the Pennsylvania Railroad had spent decades assembling its route and upgrading its tracks to become one of the first higher-speed electrified express corridors in the world where trains pulled by the legendary GG1 electric locomotives already cruised for hours at 100 miles per hour. Both Union Station in Washington, D.C. and Pennsylvania Station in New York City were architectural landmarks, inspiring many of the great European stations that came afterwards and still set our expectations for grandeur in rail and air hubs today.